Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at Ghostbusters 101, issue number four. This issue hit shelves today, but if you're lucky and you have Comixology and pre-ordered it, then you would have gotten a chance to read it early because at exactly 11 p.m. Central Standard Time, Amazon sent the digital copy to subscribers' Kindles. It didn't actually show up on our Comixology accounts, though, until about 9 a.m. Central Time. But with that being said, once again, Burnham, Sconing, and Delgado hit it out of the park. I won't go as far as Ghostbusters News did by saying that it was the best Ghostbusters comic yet, as that title is reserved for mass hysteria, but I will say it comes pretty close. The issue opens with Peter, Aaron, Patty, Ray, Winston, and Holzman aboard the Ecto-8, which is the repurposed garbage barge from Ghostbusters the video game. Bankman is completely astonished by Holzman and offers to try and help her as a psychologist, and even goes so far as to see about prescribing her medication. Patty realizes that Winston looks exactly like her uncle, only 30 years younger, and Aaron realizes Ray and Peter look just like the cab driver and Martin Heiss from the Answer the Call movie, to which Ray announces that it's not uncommon for people and faces to pop up across the multidimensional spectrum. Of course, Kevin and Kylie get off on the wrong foot when Kevin calls her Tiny Goth, to which Kylie states that she doesn't like him during which time he also begins telling everyone, even strangers who call the firehouse, that all of their stuff has shown up and that he's labeled everything that belongs to the Answer the Call Ghostbusters. We get to see a callback to the Ghost Smasher stories when Ray notices that the Answer the Call Ghostbusters don't trap ghosts, but instead disperses them, which causes the Ecto energy to merge, creating a massive ghost. Aaron quickly gets on Holtzman's bad side when she uses the proton bazooka, even after Holtzman calls dibs. Not to mention Ray getting on her bad side by revealing the ectocopter that he had been hiding from her. I really enjoyed this issue and can't wait for the last two issues. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to pick up your copy today. If you'd like some insight into the creation of IDW's Ghostbusters, Check out our interview with Dan Sconing and Eric Burnham. You can tr probably check it out if you're l watching this via a playlist. It may show up right after this episode. So be sure and check that out. Check out our other uh, videos in the playlist. We have tons of Ghostbusters videos for you. Take care, guys, and go out and pick you up a copy of IDW's Ghostbusters 101, issue number four, today.